Business process mapping is a way to visualize and document what a business does, primarily using a flowchart. Business process modeling and notation, or BPMN, takes this a step further by providing a visual way to understand, analyze, and improve upon a current method of working. It provides a more in-depth analysis, optimizing inefficiencies and bottlenecks. To get started, select New Document, choose the Flowchart category of visuals, and open the BPMN template. Here in the Smart Panel, you are provided with all sorts of BPMN symbols necessary to build your diagram. You can add them to the work area by dragging and dropping them where you want them to go. Or, once you already have a shape on the page, you can click any of the yellow dots at the perimeter of the shape, start drawing a line, and add a shape from the menu that pops up. This menu is pre-populated with the most common symbols for the selected diagram type. The options will change over time to symbols you often use, so you'll always have what you need at your fingertips. The controls in the Elements section of the Smart Panel are contextual. You'll see a different set of controls depending on the type of objects selected in the drawing area. There are controls associated with activity symbols, event symbols, gateways, data objects, choreography, and pools. Add an activity symbol like a task to your drawing area and you'll see controls related to your activity appear in the Smart Panel. You can select it and change its type to a subroutine, transaction, and call. You can use small notations inside a task symbol to denote the type of task being performed, such as a service, script, business rule, and so on. These are used when modeling engineering projects. With a task selected, change the task type and the notation will appear in the upper left corner of the task. You can add any number of markers to a selected task to note its behavior in the process. A task can be a loop, a subprocess, parallel multiple instances, sequential multiple instances, ad hoc, and compensation. These markers work like toggles. Select as many as you want, and the task marker or markers will appear at the bottom of a shape. Select the marker again to remove it from the task. An event represents something that happens during a business process. There are three main types of events, start, intermediate, and end. You can also represent the difference between interrupting and non-interrupting events and catching versus throwing events. Most events will be interrupting events represented with a solid line. An interrupting event stops the current flow and changes the process path. A non-interrupting event will not stop the main flow but create a subprocess that runs in parallel. Catching events are defined with a specific trigger like a message. Throwing events are the triggers for other events. Select the event symbol and choose a trigger type from the event trigger dropdown. Gateways control the flow of paths in a business process and they can have multiple inputs and outputs. It is represented with a diamond shape and icons inside the shape denote the type of gateway. Once you add a gateway symbol to your diagram, select it and you can choose the type here in the Smart Panel. Data objects are artifacts that while not part of regular sequence flows, can show data flowing through a process. Once you add a data object to your diagram, you can define the type of data, collection, input, or output. Choreography symbols can show interactions between multiple participants for a task in the flow of process. With a choreography symbol selected, you can choose the type, task, or call, and choose a marker or multiple markers to represent the behavior of the selected task in the process, loop, subprocess, parallel multiple instances, or sequential multiple instances. Using the Add and Remove Participant controls lets you add multiple participants as rows to the symbol. A pool contains multiple lanes that represent participants in a single process. It allows you to illustrate the interactions and flow between multiple divisions, functions, and roles. A pool can be either vertical or horizontal. Add a pool to your diagram, and you can use these controls here to add or remove lanes as needed. 
Lines represent sequence flows in BPMN. With a line selected, you can easily change the arrowhead and line style by selecting one of the options here. For example, a regular solid line with an arrow will represent a normal flow, while a dashed line will mean association. If you need to reverse which side of the line the arrow appears on, click the Reverse Direction command. These powerful tools make it easy to model even the most complex business processes.